life, life's experiences will harden us or soften us to the degree we let it in. It will make us bitter or ripen us into becoming a juicy fruit, something juicy for the divine to eat to the degree we embrace and open to the experiences that life has brought on us. But in many ways, it's only when we <coughs> are available to meet those experiences consciously as awareness with willingness can we really be ripened or softened by those experiences and that means going somehow beyond the self that has had or is having those experiences and that's no easy task necessarily for there's a huge backlog of wounds, of hurts, of grievances, of traumas, of abuses. And so it's a journey. You know, that's why I would say that life cooks us. Life grows us. and cooks us and we may tenderize or yes we may harden and become bitter I remember seeing my father who passed away many years ago but you know he got in many ways what he wanted he, he wanted out from the relationship with my mother and he got what he wanted, he got, he got a new relationship, he got some freedom and still he didn't let the grief or the shame or the guilt in, so he got what he wanted on a certain level, but it didn't soften him and it didn't make his pain any more bearable. Ironic in many ways, kind of obvious in many other ways. At some point on the journey with grace, we are called to let life in to let the past in, to let it into the secret chambers of the heart. And yes, it may feel impossible. And yes, it may feel almost like death itself in certain ways. There's no easy answer to that. except to know that we have greater capacity than we imagine and we can bear more of what feels unbearable than we imagine. But, you know, if these words are saying anything, it's as though as a kind of plea to let life soften you. As you get up, Oops, I nearly lost my dog. As you get older, you know, as we age, I don't think it's... It's not a beautiful life if we just harden into bitterness and defensiveness and rigid 
opinions. Yes, it can neutralize us almost as well. I've met a lot of people who've almost become neutralized by life's experience. And they're neither happy, nor sad, nor bitter, nor ripe, nor juicy, just a kind of monotone. I include that in the, in the hardening. That's not living life. It takes courage to meet yourself. It takes courage to let life in. But I haven't yet met anybody who hasn't got that courage. We're imbued with that kind of courage. Let it in, bit by bit, or as it comes, don't force it, let life in, let it soften you, let it make you juicy and ripe.